Hey everyone, it's your girl Pop. I'm here to bring you some rules to live by in 2K21's park. I've been noticing during this year's 2K that people have been playing hero ball, not basketball. And the problem with playing hero ball is that if you're a bum, you're just selling your team out. So here are some of the rules that I personally live by as a big man on park. Number one, good defense equals good offense opportunity. More often than not, these playmaking shots and these sharps, they don't feel the need to play defense. And it leaves a gap that the other team is willing to exploit every single time. So, doesn't matter your position, always get back on defense. Like I always like to say, don't be a bum, play defense. And if you like any of my content, feel free to smash that like button. Look, I've been playing center since 2K18, so this brings us to our next rule, which is sometimes simple is best. This year, play shots and everybody who can get pro dribble moves have been trying to do the ISO curry or whatever they try to do and they forget that they get locked up. So honestly, I would suggest make high IQ plays, passes, and just set up properly and that's the best way to go about it in part. Now for rule number three, space is your friend. As a center, this is particularly important. Sometimes we forget we can't just chill in the paint. Give your teammates room to either finish or get into the net and give them a little bit of help, get an assist. This is not necessarily a rule, but it's something I like to do. Always try to get everybody involved as long as they aren't a bum and aren't missing like two for nine. As long as they seem like they're competent, try to get them involved. The more teammates you have involved, the more on edge the other team is going to be. That leads me to rule number four. Pretty much, you're going to make mistakes. How you come back from those mistakes will define what kind of 2K player you are. Obviously, you're not always going to make the dunk, you're not always going to make the layup, but get back on defense, or even just good transition offense can make the biggest difference. You know sometimes your teammates aren't there, and exactly, go for a rebound, go for a dunk. Now, as a side rule, and I'm going to say as a side rule, screens create great opportunities for the shooters on your team. However, there has been this little cheese where centers, all they do is just screen, screen, screen for the same person in the hopes that they'll just kind of get it eventually. And that, that's a shitty way to play the game. And I can't stress enough how much good defense leads into good offense. Right there, I just got that offensive rebound one, and then as the play goes on, my teammate doesn't make it. I go, I jump, I grab the rebound one more time, try to set him up, and look what he does for me. I come in, he sees me, I dunk. Simple as that. Also, in case it wasn't apparent, be savage. Once you've done something, once you've committed to a cut, just do it. If you miss, you miss. That's okay. okay. Now getting into rule number five. Pretty much, teamwork makes the dream work. I can't do everything on my own. My teammates can't do everything on their own. So we gotta help each other out. Just like he helped me out on defense, you know what I mean? I'm gonna see that he's cutting. He's a real playmaker for sure. I'm gonna jump, make the shot. Sometimes teammate chemistry can make the biggest difference in any game. Sometimes you have a no squad against a squad and the only real difference is not the skill level always, but the amount of teamwork and talk that comes into it. So obviously I had a good, you know, chemistry with this point guard and we kind of saw each other and we knew what we were doing. So throughout that whole game, he was the person I automatically passed to. And that led to, well, plays like this. You got to be savage. Also, 
Another slight side rule that I won't put in here but I will talk about, just be prepared for people to rush the paint. It will happen. Also, if your center can block, not unlike my center can block people, have Heart Crusher on. That will get your whole team on fire. Blocking like that and having highlight plays like that will definitely boost your team's chemistry. Rule number six, have fun. It makes the grind about 10 times easier. If you like this video and are hoping for more content from me, please feel free to like and subscribe to my YouTube channel and hit me up at PopMollySweat6 on Twitch.